Hello dears, Ola here. Today you will see how to alter simple wooden paint palette using several Prima products, a new Opal Magics by Finaber and the chipboard die cuts by Scrappinets. First, I'm going to add uh, some texture with the uh, stencil and uh, graphite paste. I'm applying the texture around the area where I'm planning to build the composition. To make uh, the texture more intricate, I decided to add a few pieces of uh, crochet lace. I'm going to use uh, this uh, chipper die cuts from the same reason to make the background more interesting. And the background is uh, ready and uh, now I begin uh, to build uh, the composition. To glue all uh, these uh, big uh, elements I always use uh, 3D matte gel by Finaber. Uh, when you use uh, a 3D matte gel to glue the elements, just uh, let it dry natural for a few hours. After drying, we have to cover all of this in the background and uh, all uh, the elements with a black gesso. I decided to add a little bit more texture to the background with a uh, black sand paste. Since in uh, the end this project will be in uh, light colors, then I don't need to cover this uh, paste also with a black gesso. I can leave it as it is.
After drying, I'm going to cover all the surface with a white gesso. I'm doing this in a dry brush technique. This gives you a very beautiful result. You will get white surface with black shadowing between the elements. But this technique works only with the transparent paints like mists or opal magic paints. First, I'm going to use a few color bloom mists. Uh, this uh, gives me some kind of uh, draft painting and uh, helps me to decide in which tones exactly I want to paint my project. After drying, I begin to color the project with the new Opal Magics. At this point, it uh, doesn't really matter with which exactly color you begin. What is matter is uh, to apply a really thin layer of each color. Uh, when you work in this way, you will get a beautiful transitions between all the colors. I continue to paint the project till I like the result.
I hope you are able to see in the video how beautiful the color transitions and uh, the pearl effect of uh, this amazing paint. Now I'm going to add uh, some flowers and uh, maybe a few more elements. I decided to add uh, to the project some beautiful title. I think this quote just uh, perfect to the project concept. And the quote and the masquerade mask shape I'm going to cover with a black gesso. The quote probably will stay black, but the mask I'm going to paint also with Opal Magics. I decided to add uh, to the background uh, some art pebbles. Uh, they just add uh, so much glow to any project. I really love these small new pebbles. And the area where I'm going to place the quote, I decided to make it lighter. To get it, I'm highlighting the area with a white gesso. And because I don't want to get just a white spot in the middle of the background, I'm adding a bit of the gesso to the surrounding area as well. I think a few gold color touches will look just great in this project. To connect visually these gold leaves 
more to the project, I am highlighting also some of the elements with the same Sparks Gold paint. And that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions about the process or materials, you can ask me in the comments. Link to the supplies list you will find in the movie description. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!